Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed. The Yukon Tonight Show is back. Episode two, baby. Buckle your seatbelts. We got a lot of good content That's coming. That's double seatbelt. Cam, what do you want to start off the show with? Today we're going to start off with This Week in News. I like it. This week on a Tokyo train, a passenger spotted a python curled around the armrest of a nearby seat forcing the train to make an unscheduled stop. When asked to comment on the event, the man said, I'm tired of all these mother snakes on these mother trains. A New Mexico community college is offering a new program that allows students to major in brewing beer. School officials say students in the program learn the basics of beer production and recipe formulation. However, the major is only a two-year program as they do accept transfer credits earned from the high school years when you mixed all the alcohol stolen from your parents. One thing's for sure, the political race is heating up. And amidst everyone's uncertainty, God decided to throw us a bone. Authorities say a mother who mailed drugs to her incarcerated daughter is now an inmate in the same Florida jail. Damn, that's what I call a care package. Price is Right made history on Monday's episode when a trio of contestants spun one dollar on the game's colorful wheel. Drew Carey said it was the third most exciting thing he'd experienced this year behind 96-year-old Barbara winning a jet ski she'll never use and him making $7 million to host a game show that Bob Barker would still do for a box of Cracker Jacks. The price is wrong. A 42-year-old random man is the new founder of the official pizza party, a political designation officially recognized by state election officials. First order of business, prosecuting all you people who put napkins on their pizza before taking a bite. Seriously, people, just embrace the grease. It's not a salad. McDonald's Corporation said Tuesday that it is being thoughtful in respect to Ronald McDonald's participation in community events as a result of the current climate around clown sightings in communities. It's true. He only haunts me twice a week now in my dreams. Hamburger, this is the shot you've been waiting for for years. Don't blow this. And that'll do it for this week in news. Now we're going to take a short commercial break. We are going to ask political and pop star figures and see how many people know which kind and whether or not America is truly educated. My creepy uncle, a.k.a. Tim Kaine. LeBron James. Rest in peace, Harambe. This is Mike Pence, America's creepy step-uncle. <laughs> w. Selena Gomez's ex. <laughs> Who the f*** is this guy? <laughs> Who am I here speaking with? Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Emma. Okay, so here we are back on the streets with our friend. Francesca. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the person to ask for this, honestly. No. Nancy Pelosi. Okay. Ryan something? You got the Ryan part right. Gosling, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay. No. No. <laughs> Dude, you ever, did you see Deadpool? Yeah. Van Wilder? Yes. He's married to Blake Lively. Oh, okay, okay, yes. Now I know. These uncultured people. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, well. Everybody, everybody's uncle. Come on. Uncle Sam. Close enough. We'll count it. <laughs> that is... Oh, I went touch his home a little bit. Ah, oh, that's Harambe. Uh, everyone's favorite dad, Tim Kaine. Um, yeah, it's you. Uh. <laughs> Come on. 2013 MVP? <laughs> put, put Cleveland on his back to win the title um, last year? Uh. LeBron James. I don't really watch sports. I'm not cultured, okay? He was I'm in Trainwreck with Amy Schumer. Co Kobe? Okay. Next one. Oh. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal. Wrong. This is Paul Ryan. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. You look familiar. Don't know. Not Jake Gyllenhaal. Someone, Someone, Someone said Jake out. Gyllenhaal? Yeah. He kind of looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. Dude, I don't do politics. He's got soft eyes. LeBron James. Okay. okay. Why'd you cringe? He, I got it. George Bush. I Which got that one? one. 
Juniors? Yes. Oh, God. I don't know. Eminem. Full name. Oh, gone there. Looks like a girl there. <laughs> I know the face, but I don't know the name. Yeah, everybody knows the face because it's in their nightmares. Still don't know. The Fox, Nancy Pelosi. Selena Gomez. I don't know. The Nancy Pelosi, Secretary of... Nope. What was the Speaker of the House? Speaker of the no, House. No idea. John Kerry. Okay. Don't okay. care. I don't know. I don't know. Paul Ryan, Paul Speaker Ryan. of the House. Oh, I did yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> You knew it after I told you, or...? Oh, yeah. Um... Ham, Hambo, Hamburglar? Ham yeah, I don't know. Uh, Tim Kaine. How do you know? <laughs> We're gonna be on TV. Single. No, let's go back to him. All right, who will come? Ah, uh, it's Harambe. <laughs> uh, Mike Pence, Trump's running mate. Trump for president. It's Cam Wilcox right there. <laughs> Beautiful. Taylor Swift. The snake. Yes. <laughs> You're running a campaign for president. What's your slogan? Uh. Hmm. America isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that election. That's Just go. Gun to your head. Like me. Tad desperate, but... Okay. First up. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Joe Biden. No, yeah, no that's it. That's, that's no, it. That's no, it. no, that was not him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He has nice eyes. I don't know. <laughs> you look like okay, okay, no. Okay, okay, that's fine. No, that's fine. Okay. okay, okay. Cutest president. Uh, Millard Fillmore has already been taken. JFK, right? Oh, that's a good yeah. one. That is a good one. He is one sexy man. Can't run away Cutest? From the They're all old men. At one point, like in their prime. I feel like JFK was kind of a stud once. What? Do you like apples? What'd you say? Do you like apples? No, but uh, I got these corn pops. 20% of your daily zinc. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Dude, how many times do I have to tell you? I want you f***ing apples. <laughs>